Hello everyone, welcome to HBN Infotech Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create rounded corners for any shape in Microsoft Word. Before I start, I would like you to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for future tutorial notifications. You can download this rounded corner shapes template on my website. The link is given in the description below. Okay, now let me show you how to create rounded corners for a polygon such as a hexagon. So first thing is I will take a new page. Then I will go to the insert tab and then click on shapes and then click on hexagon. In your case, you can select a different shape as per your choice. And now I will just hold down the shift key while dragging the mouse so if you don't hold the shift key no you will just uh, uh, you, you won't be able to create the shape in a proportion so hold on the shift key now then yeah it is created now uh, you will need to change the outline color so I'll just go to the shape outline on the format tab and then choose a color different from black so I have a reason for this uh, now the next step is we will need to trace down this polygon so we'll just go to the insert shapes and then click on the freeform tool so now you can start tracing so remember that you should start from uh, a point uh, any of these points you can start from any of the points now say for example if I start from this point I should make sure that I will start from here, go here, click here, click here, click here and come back and uh, end at this point, end at the starting point itself. So now I will do that here, I will start, I will click here, then click on all vertex just like this and then finish it off. So now the uh, we have uh, created a uh, replica of a hexagon so now the next step is we need to remove the fill so I'll say no fill and now we will need to check whether it is exactly created I mean exactly traced now I'll just uh, zoom it so you can zoom it to the maximum level and now on the same format tab you have an option called edit shape go to the edit shapes edit points and now you could see that it is not exactly traced so you can just move the nodes here just move it just like this and make sure that it is exactly you know traced Okay, just like this so now I think it's uh, perfect now uh, the next step is to create additional nodes just like this on all the line segments so you will need to be in the uh, shape editing mode so if you click away from the shape the shape editing mode will go so you will need to re-enable it so you will just click on the shape go to the format click on edit shape and click on edit points so this will enable the shape editing mode now if you have a closer look you can see the points here these points can be referred to as the nodes so the node is exactly there on all the vertex so now we need two more additional nodes for this node so on all the adjacent seg line segments so one on here and one on here so what you can do is to add a, a point or a node you can just right click on the line segment and click on add point so you can do this on the adjacent line segments on all the sides of the polygon so I'll just do this right click add point right click add point and then right click add point add point so visually you can maintain the same distance I'm maintaining the same distance so that's approximate 
but that's okay right click add point right click add point right click add point so right click and add point right click and add point so we are done with all the sides so if there is a change in the shape don't worry we will just correct it in a moment so now the next step so the next step is to delete the uh, point or the node that is exactly on the vertex so we'll just delete it on all the corners so just right click on the node and click on delete point so please observe carefully so if you are confused you can watch this tutorial again so i'll just right click on the node that is exactly on the vertex and choose delete point right click delete point and right click delete point if anything goes wrong you can undo this at any moment delete point so i guess only one side is left right click delete point now the next step is we will need to convert this line segment into a curve curve segment so uh, that you need to do exactly on the vertex i mean here so you can just right click and then choose curved segment so this we will do for all the sides right click curved segment you need to click exactly in between these two nodes and then right click curved segment right click curved segment again right click and right click so i think i am done with all the sides and now the next step the next step is to convert these nodes to corner point so there are different uh, uh, points here like smooth point straight point corner point so we need a corner point so you can just click on right click on these nodes each and every nodes here and then choose corner point so i'll do for all the nodes right click corner point right click corner point and then right click corner point corner point you need a little bit of patience i guess so be patient right click corner point right click and corner point again so this is the last one i guess right click corner point right click and corner point yes so we are done with all the sides now the very crucial point and what you can do is just click on the node so when you click on a node you could see some handle like this so these handles are uh, the control handles what you can call or control points or something you can call it anything so this helps you control the uh, curve uh, of the node so now we'll just move this and keep it on the vertex exactly so click on this one as well and bring this down on the vertex exactly like this so do this for all the corners so click on this bring this here keep it there then do it for all the sides see again i'll repeat if you are confused you can just stop this and watch my tutorial again so i'll just click here bring this control point exactly on the vertex like that exactly on the vertex exactly on the vertex
yes i guess this is the last one so let's click on this keep it keep this here now there's one more thing you will need to do so when you uh, just convert this into a corner point these straight segments will be converted into the curved segments so you will need to convert it back to the straight line segments to do that you can right click on these line segments and choose straight segment so this you can do it on all the sides right click straight straight segment right click straight right click straight right click straight and right click and straight so now we have converted all the line segments into straight segments now the next thing is you can move and adjust this node just like this and visually you know you can just uh, decide how much corner roundness you want you can move it uh, move the nodes up to that level so this you can do it on all the sides and also make sure that you are exactly i know you are not going away from the line so you can just move it exactly on that yeah so this might need a little practice but you can do it like this so you can also adjust the you know control point so that gives a better look I mean better curved look yes now this looks uh, a, a more uh, smooth curve so so just this one this side a little bit okay so now the challenge is that you need to visually decide the same amount of roundness on all the sides this is the only challenge so I guess uh, it, it's not very tough so now let us continue just move the nodes just like this also you will need to um, use the control points to manipulate the curves okay i guess this is fine just so you will need to compare uh, with the other one other uh, curved side every time you do it so now I'll just do it for this as well move this move this up and then pull the control point a little bit for this as well Yes, I think this is fine. A little. Now, I think we are left with uh, two more sides. So if anything goes wrong you can always undo the action and redo it and I mean correct it yeah, I, oh sorry see I'll need to undo I'll just click here to undo yes this is fine and the last vertex okay
okay i think that looks fine on all the sides now we have done with uh, done it for the i mean the entire uh, shape so let us zoom in sorry let us zoom out now if you bring this out i mean uh, i mean you can delete the uh, the other shape that was behind the curved shape delete that so now we are left with this one now we can fill a color as desired and change the outline thickness as well you can change the outline weight outline style and do whatever you wish sorry just like that so using the same technique i have created all the other shapes that you are seeing here so i mean i have created the rounded corners for all the other shapes that you see here so you can download this template on my website the link is given in the description below i hope that this tutorial is helpful please like and share this video if this is your first time visit to my channel please subscribe my channel i'll see you all in my next tips and tricks tutorial until then it's bye from hbn infotech.com